A man in Luzerne County grabbed a chainsaw over the weekend and cut down his neighbor's tree that he thought was ruining his car. Thing is, the tree fell the wrong way and right into an apartment house. News Watch 16's Matt Petrillo is live in Pittston Township. Matt? Well, and it didn't just fall on any apartment house. It was the place where that man stayed. The giant pine tree also flattened this garage, and now the, him and the five people who used to live here have to find new places to stay. It's a friendly welcome sign near the front door of this apartment house near Pittston that's now overshadowed by this red letter that reads condemned. This apartment's officially closed down. Authorities closed the building on Oak Street because a man who lived there was upset about this big old pine tree. The tree sat in his neighbor's yard, but it had branches above his parking space. Those branches would drip sap onto his car. So Saturday afternoon, the man picked up a chainsaw and cut through the 36 inch wide tree Trunk, knocking the tree right into part of the building. He decided it was the best thing to do to get rid of the tree. Where he thought it was going to go, I have no idea. <laughs> Disbelief and shock. Rick Woods also lived in the apartment house until it was condemned. When the tree fell, Woods was in his apartment, sitting on his couch, watching TV. I thought the tractor trailer lost his brakes and just ran into something, not realizing it was the house. The Red Cross is helping Woods and the others who lived here with temporary places to stay. That's all Woods is hoping for. I find a place to live, that's about it. But officials aren't sure when or if people will be allowed back in the building because the foundation has shifted. It's going to be a long time before somebody gets back in here, I think. And the man who cut down the tree here is now being checked out at a nearby hospital. Authorities say he could be charged with trespassing and other charges. Matt Petrillo, Newswatch 16, live in Luzerne County.